now that we've created our custom page we want to be able to cause our custom page to return um, content from a template file in order to do this we would create our dot module file first so that's new file movie underscore directory dot module again start off with your php oops php tags and we want to, drupal works with hooks so the hook we want to work with is hook theme so function hook essentially means you replace that with the machine name of your module so in my case movie underscore directory underscore theme i'm going to hit tab to auto complete um and now we want to return um a, a list of templates for the time being we're just going to return one template with the variables that template can use so i'm going to call this movie listing template and then reference an array that will contain variables for now we'll only use we only have one variable which is content so content equal to now for now great so now we have to create a template file that matches this so we could essentially create a template file now there and then but i like to keep things a bit neat and tidy so i'm going to create a template directory first let's call it templates and then within my template directory i am now going to create the movie listing twig file movie dash listing dash dot html dot twig so within this file we have a bit more space to write um better html instead of having to squeeze everything in here we can do things here so let's say i'm gonna have a search bar search bar then within there i'm gonna have the content slash movie listings and then below i'm gonna have pagination and within this we should be able to actually add um some like html so for example if i was to create a new a div and call it search for example um put that in there i'm going to create another div called content put this in there um, and another div called pagination cool so now whoops now that we have this we should be able to clear caches in our terminal so I'm not sure how I've already got that there, but I'm going to use it anyway. Drush CR, which means cache rebuild. So now this will cause Drupal to register our new theme and our new template. So now if we come back to our controller file, we can get rid of this and start again. So now this time we're going to return a theme and the theme is going to be whatever um, name we gave it here let me make this a bit bigger so not in this case it's movie listing so if we copy that come back to our controller paste that there and the next thing we want to pass through is our content so if you remember we created a variable called content so come back to your controller type content and this could equal anything so let me give you an example let's initiate a new variable equal i don't know something empty and then let's cr create a, something called um what can we use name right my oops name is ben so instead of passing nothing we are going to pass our new content variable tidy that up a bit uh, let me zoom out just a tad bit too and we should be able to print this variable within our template file so let's say i want to create it um, add it here so in twig to print variables you start with curly braces and then content because that's the name of the, the variable that we're using this is the variable that contains all our like values and then you put name so content dot name that's the name here 
So now if we go back to our browser, we should be able to refresh this page and see something entirely different this time. There you have it. So we've got a search bar, which is this. We've got that name, which I put in the controller. My name is Ben, which is what we are seeing from here. And then the movie listing, I should have added a break over there. And then pagination. So you'll see with this, it should be a bit more easier to create custom content rather than having to like squeeze everything within this variable, sorry, this renderable array here.